Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be going over everything that I have planned for this bike. Uh, I posted the bike up on my Instagram. I posted the video on YouTube. And the number one question is, what are you gonna put on? What are you gonna do to it? it it's I, I don't know. It, it must have been over like 300 times that I got in that question. So today we're gonna be answering all those questions for you. We're gonna see what we can pull over give you a walkthrough of the bike and go over every little thing that i have on my list and it's a long list at that this is like the most perfect little spot here we got the sun going down nice light open parking lot where are we gonna go where 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 let's pick the perfect spot sorry i just need uh i need the perfect spot man All right, um, where do we begin? Let's just give you guys a nice walk around of the bike first. So you guys can see it. Beautiful design fairing. I love this fairing, man. They did a great job designing this bike. I love the stock windshield as well. I really like the one Clockworks makes. But this stock windshield, like that, that would be something that, uh, that I buy. It's really nice. Um, got this nice HD Brandon. This actually a guitar pick, which is pretty cool. Little Easter egg on that. Love the record for the emblem. Paint job speaks for itself. I'm not sure if you guys are able to catch anything on camera, uh, but do you see that sparkle in that paint right there? Do you see that flake? Do you see that? And as you go down, it's just it's it's beautiful very very nice got the uh enthusiast collection brandon on the rear fender just beautiful man they did such a great job with this bike all right so where do we begin i think we're gonna start from the front to the back obviously there's gonna be a lot of different stuff on here that i'm gonna be doing that you might be questioning why is he doing this ew i don't like this most of the time i put different parts of my bike at first, people don't like them. After a while, it grows on them, and it's like, whoa, that's really cool. So that's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might be going a direction that you might not like with this bike. Who knows? Um, before we get into that, I also want to mention that due to the fact that I have the 2020 Lowrider S, I really don't want to put anything on this bike that was on that bike, with the exception of one thing, maybe two things. But besides that... I don't want to put anything that was on that bike on this bike. I want it to be totally different. I want to use all different parts. Um, I mean, obviously, times change. I find different things that I like. And I just don't want to do the same parts over and over and over again. That's a little boring. It's a little, you know. Me, I'm very open-minded. I like to try out new things. That's just the way I roll. So as the video goes on, let me know if you are liking what you're hearing. If you don't, by all means, drop your thoughts and your comments down below. Let me know if you like it, if you don't, if you approve it, if you don't. Totally fine with that. So we'll start from the front, guys. Obviously, we've got this beautiful design fairing here. This thing is beautiful. But guess what? We're going to be changing a few things around it. The stock headlight, it's going. The stock turn signals are going. What we're going to go with is a Baja LP6 yellow. It's going to look great. We're going to do Baja's S1s for the turn signals. Also yellow. It's going to look great. On top, we're going to go with the Clockworks flared windshield in yellow. So we're going to have that yellow, yellow, yellow. Beautiful so far. Right? Hear me out. Making our way down. Making my way downtown. To the wheels. We're going to be powder coating these wheels. I really love this color. But I want to, I don't know, I want to see it different. I think that for this paint job, for this bike, black gloss wheels are going to look absolutely beautiful. Then what we're going to do for brakes, we're going to do gold Lindell rotors. So we're going to have a hint of gold, well, yellow, gold, whatever. Uh, hint that yellow in the S1s, hint of that yellow in the light, and a hint of that yellow for the windshield. So it's, it's going to look really, really nice and clean. Now, as we make our way to the back, we're going to be going with some crash bars. Still don't know if we're going to do Santoro crash bars. On um, the lowrider I had before, we had bunking. So with this one, we might be going Santoro. We might be going SBC. I don't know yet. 
but we're going to be doing the front crash bar for the front and we're going to be doing the rear crash bars as well engine guard whatever you want to call it but the front one is going to be matching with the rears as well now for the foot pegs we're going to be doing something we might do the same thing as the low rider so i just my favorite foot pegs are the flow foot pegs i think they have a great grip they look great they look super cool and they never go out of style so that's one of the things that might travel onto this bike but we're gonna do gold that's a maybe though because i was looking at the mini floorboards that kraus has in black which looks pretty cool so i'm also looking at that so i'm not too sure about that yet but whatever we do we're gonna be changing out the brake lever as well so we'll all this will be brand new air cleaner we're gonna go with a black trash air cleaner uh with a clear window obviously to see the inside that's gonna look pretty nice it's gonna be clean subtle but cool um riser setup as we move our way up probably one of my favorite things to change on a bike risers um we're gonna go with a kraus setup I'm not sure yet if I want to do uh, an 8 inch or a 10 inch riser setup, but we're going to go with that. And then we're going to do the gold ODI bar. That's going to look sick. So, once again, gold, 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 yellowish, goldish here. It's going to look sick. Grips, I'm not sure. Maybe some ODI grips. No, nothing too too fancy or just, you know, some cool grips. I really like the RLNS grips that I had on my bike. Uh, before on the low rider are probably one of my favorite grips ever out of all the grips that I've uh, that I've tried um, but We might try some new grips uh, Then we'll change out some little stuff here and there. Maybe some Kraus hardware here and there Mirrors we're gonna leave the mirrors. I'm actually a big fan of stock mirrors. I think they look awesome. I think they look pretty cool levers we're gonna go with flow shorty levers blacked out uh, my powder coat them gold not sure yet i've made up my mind but i really like the the flow shorty levers on the bike i had before i had shorty levers but they were from forgot what company it was but they were bronze um i like them but obviously we want to go something different making our way back for the seat you already know we're gonna get a lapara seat because we are team lapara on this channel we're gonna do a custom seat it's gonna look sick i already I'm coming up with some crazy ideas. I love the seat that I had on my Rogue Glide. That thing was killer. People love that thing. I love the seat that I had on the Low Rider. That thing was sick as well. And as well as the seat on the FXR. All the power seats, all custom made. So with this one, just expect something different, something wild. Um, I want to, might probably go with a tail whip because uh, I really like the design of the tail whip as well. Uh, maybe some embroidery on there, but that that'll that'll be a surprise for you guys later on. Um, making our way down. Making my way downtown. Exhaust. We're gonna go with. Uh, it's not for a hundred percent sure. I'm like eighty percent sure that I'm going with that exhaust. I want to do a stainless steel SP custom exhaust. That thing is gonna look really, really, really nice um, against all the black on there. With the uh, little gold hints here and there, it's uh, it, it's gonna pop out really, really, really nice. Um, I'm excited for that. So that exhaust, hopefully that that might be one of the first things we, we get on the bike uh, within the next few weeks. It's gonna be the exhaust to clean up the back. We're gonna be getting rid of the stock light. One more thing, because I said two things are are gonna be going from the low rider to this bike. Another part is gonna be the Moon's MC rear light. I absolutely love that light. Probably my favorite light. It's very flush. It's going to be dark. Um, it's going to clean everything up because it's just going to be the light without the turn signals. It's going to have the integrated turn signals inside of it right there. It's, it, it just cleans up the whole the whole back really nice and uh, really nice and clean. Now, I know uh, you guys really like the Enthusiast Collection badge on here and the front pick there as well. But... Um, we're going to do some carbon on here. I mean, come on. Uh, so we're probably going to do some carbon parts on here. Um, rear fender. Front fender. Tank dash. Side covers. And 
and I can't mention what I'm doing next, but that's going to be a surprise. We're going to have some more carbon parts later on. It's, it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. Now, there's more. <laughs> Let's talk about power now. Um, we're going to be doing stage two on this bike. I'm debating between a Psychorama cam, maybe 480, 483. I'm also looking at the Star Racing 3030 cam. Um, and then there was one more cam. I've done the 475 on the Low Rider S. Absolutely love that cam. Um, would I use it again? Yes, I love it. I used the Fueling Reaper 465 cam on the Rogue Glide. And I absolutely love that cam as well. Um, but I want to do something different. So obviously I'm looking at the Sakurama and the 3030 cam. I, I just want to, every time I do something, I like to just switch it up. Try new products. Um, and most important, just give you guys the feedback from, and you know, an average day rider. Um, I know a lot of you guys always have questions. Well, how's this cam? How's this part? How's that? Whatever. And I like to get my opinion on things. Some of you guys listen. Some of you guys don't care, but whatever um we're gonna be blacking out these right here so we'll replace those um throttle body we're gonna be changing out um not sure which throttle body we're gonna go with but that's gonna be one of the things that are gonna go when we do the stage two um suspension for the front we are gonna do the rear i'm not sure if i'm touching uh i have no complaints about the rear suspension on this bike um, the front suspension on here is actually pretty good. Like, I really like the stock setup on this bike as far as comfort and performance. Um, I mean, with the inverted front end here, it performs well. Uh, it feels very good. I want to spend a lot of more time on this bike to see if I still have that bouncing feeling that I had on the low rider before, which a lot of people had. Um, but I can't tell you that, yeah, I want to spend, uh, obviously put my mods on the bike. But long term, what we want to do is that we're going to be doing Olin suspension in the front with, obviously, the gold tubes. Um, so, yeah, a little, little gold here and there. I think the gold is going to mesh well. So, you see, you're going to have that black paint. You got that red pinstripe in with that brownish, goldish flake color in it with more pinstriping and i think it's gonna all tie in together very nice um especially once you know the, the wheels are all glossed and blacked out it's gonna look sick um I, I i'm not sure if i missed anything i think i pretty much covered everything here's one thing that i forgot we're gonna be doing the harley davidson audio in the front right here for the fairing that's gonna look good sound good and just bring everything on together if i did forget something we'll uh definitely bring it up later on um yeah man i'm uh i'm super excited oh we also got some leather pro bags coming in now I, i'm most likely just going to keep these bags for the most part because the paint makes the bike so most of the time i'm going to be riding with the bags or just without the bags and just if I want to have a nice clean look, take the bags off and ride it like that. The Leather Pro bags are going to be for any long distance riding that I'm going to be doing on this bike most likely. Um, either when we're going to Milwaukee, I might be going to Laconia. Um, Canada is on the map as well. And the, 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 a few other things that I don't want to talk about yet. But yeah. So, the Leather Pro bags maybe are going to be for the long haul trips. Who knows? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I absolutely love this bike. I'm really excited to start the project. Um, I want to give you guys the feedback. I want to change the look on the bike. And obviously, let her stand out. I mean, she already stands out with this beautiful color that she has. But with everything that we're going to be doing to the bike, it's it's going to be marvelous, man. Marvelous Marvel. That should have been the... Uh name of the channel <laughs> marvelous marvel so let me know what you guys think down below uh is there anything that you really like that i'm gonna be doing on the bike is something that you don't something that you're like eh whatever um and by all means if you guys have this bike and you have done some similar upgrades to it let me know what what you've done to your bike uh, or maybe if you went down a different route I, i'm very eager to know what you've done to yours um especially those of you guys who have done engine work any cams out there uh let me know what type of numbers you guys are getting and uh performance wise and if you're happy with them or not um 
that's it. It's a it's a beautiful day out here. Like I was mentioning before, I want to keep riding. This bike is is just beautiful, and I'm I'm super excited to start this project with you and share this journey. Um, when is everything gonna go on the bike? Not right away, obviously. It's gonna be a a a, a process, little by little. So definitely tune in within the next few months. By the summertime, hopefully. Uh, 75 to 85 percent of all those things will be on the bike so yeah anyways if you want to see more content like this obviously a lot of installs come in a lot of reviews are coming for parts and just videos and topics on this bike in general you're definitely in the right place make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell button share these videos with your buddies guys and if you're not yet following me on my instagram it's the same name as my youtube marvel kid 87 i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace